Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to install and use PySide 6 on your Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. We will be using a virtual environment for this installation and build a basic window application to test our installation. But wait a minute. 99% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So consider subscribing to the channel to get the latest update or else. Before installing PySide 6, we will install a Python module called Virtualenv. It will allow us to create a virtual environment to install and experiment with different packages and modules. It's always a good practice to use a virtual environment while working with third-party packages. To install Virtualenv, type pip3 install virtual env. Since I have already done it, I'm skipping this part. Now to create a virtual environment, type python or python3-m, venv, and a name for your environment which in our case, is env. To activate the environment in your Linux or Mac OS, type source, the name of your environment, forward slash, bin, forward slash, activate. Here, you can see, our environment has been activated as it is showing in our terminal. Now to install PySide 6, type, pip3, install, PySide 6. Our installation is complete. Now, we will create a basic window application in PySide 6 to test our installation. Let's create a file. We're going to call it app.py. So, first of all, we are going to import QApplication and QWidget class from Qt Widgets. QWidget is the window that is going to appear on our screen while the queue application initializes our application and handles events. Now we are instantiating the queue application class. It takes an empty list as an argument if you are not passing any parameters from the command line. If you want to pass command line arguments, you have to pass sys.argv to queue application class. Now we are creating our queue widget window by instantiating the class itself and assigning it to our window variable. Since our window has been created, we would like to display the window on our screen which is why, we are going to call, the show method from QWidget class. The basic setup for our window application is done. Now, our application has to be executed to handle various events. Which is why, we will call the exec method from the queue application class. Let's run the script and see what happens. Here you can see, we have blank window which contains maximize, minimize, exit button in a title called app.py. We have successfully created our first window application. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe to my channel to get more contents like this. Want to you play your favorite classic games on Linux? Check out this next video.